Hi. Hey. Hey, what's up? Okay, so I have something that might be of interest to both of you. Yeah, what is that? So I saw a study that revealed that nicotine could in fact protect you from contracting coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, one of my friends got so excited hearing this, you know. I think he sent me a video on the same. Let me let me find it and play it for you. Medical researchers in France have found that a substance in nicotine could prevent people from contracting COVID-19. The study carried out in a hospital in Paris reveal smokers may be less susceptible to the virus. Okay, so I read about the study too. The study was done by a Paris hospital, like the video says. An interesting part of the study is that even though 25% of the French population smokes, only 5% of the coronavirus patients were smokers. But let me be clear, the study was only done on 500 people. Yeah, a similar study was done in China as well, but on a thousand people. And by the results, it does look like nicotine reduces your chance to contract the virus. So it seems like you guys know everything already. Let me ask you one thing. Do you know how it works scientifically? No, I don't. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so I'll explain how it works. It's uh, What happens is that the nicotine attaches itself to your cell receptors. And while this is normally a bad thing, it's a positive thing in the case of the coronavirus because it blocks the receptors, preventing the virus from attaching to it. So who would have ever thought that nicotine could have actually be a good thing? I know, right? Actually, there's one more way nicotine can give advantage to smokers. So basically, when the virus enters our lungs, our immune system releases something called cytokines. This can cause inflammation of the lungs. Now, in severe cases of coronavirus, body's immune system releases uncontrolled level of cytokines. This can cause excessive inflammation of the lungs. And according to the French researcher, nicotine can lessen the impact of cytokine, preventing excessive inflammation, giving smokers an advantage. Huh, interesting. So I also read that the French hospital now plans to use nicotine patches on health workers to see if it protects them against the virus and also on hospitalized patients to see whether it helps reduce the symptoms. Yeah, yeah. Not just that, a US company is even making a tobacco vaccine. Let me show you guys, wait. British American Tobacco announcing today it is developing a COVID-19 vaccine using tobacco leaves at a subsidiary in Kentucky. British American Tobacco says the vaccine is undergoing preclinical testing. That means it has not been tested on humans. The company says it has the potential to be ready as soon as June of this year. All this information sounds so interesting. I mean, but it's just wise of me to mention that don't go crazy about all this because the study is in its infancy. The doctors are in no way promoting smoking as a precautionary measure against COVID-19. I'm just putting Damn. it out there. But you know, it's great that you pointed that out because while nicotine may protect those from the virus, smokers who have caught it often develop more serious symptoms because of the toxic effect of the tobacco smoke on the lungs. Yeah, exactly. Just refrain from smoking or using nicotine patches as a protective measure for now, I guess. Anyways, it was nice speaking to you guys and uh, we'll catch up soon. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Speak bye -bye. to you later. Thanks for watching Binge Daily. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.